good day. Thanks for stopping by. The purpose of this video is very simply how to show you to do what I feel is the top SEO improvements for your website with no dinero, no money. Um, so many of the prospects that I talked to over the years, uh, they've been with an SEO campaign. I pay $500 a month. I pay to $5,000 a month. People are getting the wrong advice, and when we go to their website, we take a look, we do an analysis, we see so many basic SEO errors, and that's what's so frustrating to me, being in this industry, is basic SEO errors are being done, being forgotten. So here, if you have no money, and, and if you're just, you're about to give up, do these top five things, and I tell this to a lot of prospects, sometimes we just can't help them. They've been so robbed, that they just don't have the resources to come on board with us. So here's top five things that you need to do to start getting some improvement on your website. Number one is a blog. Oh, everybody's going to talk about a blog, but a blog tells Google that you're home. You could have a five-page website, you could have a ten-page website, you could have a hundred-page website, but a blog is a great way to do, throw an article out there, and it tells Google that you're active. Do it twice a month. If you can't figure out how to do any content, go to Craigslist. Under the gig section, 20 bucks, 15 bucks, whatever the case may be. Say, I'm looking for a writer. You know, something is better than nothing. Um, tags. You want to make sure that in your WordPress thing, you have at least six or seven. Everybody's going to debate about that. But me personally, and I own my own websites, I know what, it, you know, I like to think I know what I'm doing. But six or seven tags. Title. In your blog, you want to make sure that you have your keywords or your messaging. Make sure it's in there. Utilize all the space you can. Generally, 75 characters. Links. I saw a doctor's website the other day. It was beautiful information, but he didn't even put any hyperlinks in there. He didn't know. He didn't know about tags and all this stuff. So don't overdo it. I see blogs out there, especially from the spammers. They got seven or eight hyperlinks. At least throw in one hyperlink. Throw it back to a, a page on your website. If you only have five pages on your website, throw it to the most appropriate thing. So you want to put a hyperlink on there. This one is the reason of the video, 301 redirect. It's a basic SEO error. So, error. PaulMPA.com, www.PaulMPA.com. If you don't have a 301 redirect, Google sees two versions of your website. So just real quick, go in your browser, type in, you know, mywebsite.com and then also www.mywebsite.com. See if it redirects, see if it goes to different pages. This one it could be a long video in itself, but please go out there, Google 301 redirect checker and it will check your website. If you need any help, I'll help you gladly because that's an SEO basic error. Uh, social channels, everybody's going to talk about that, but listen, find the ones that matter. If you're an herbal company and you got a LinkedIn page, how does that really apply? Is that where your targets are? They're probably on Facebook and Google+, Twitter, uh, all the you know social things. If you're an IT company, is you know uh, is Quora, you know, is Tumblr going to be your best uh, bet? Probably not. Uh, but if you have a social media channel, fill it out completely. Fill it out completely. Come on, uh, with that Craigslist writer. You want to take as much time as you can. Make sure your hyperlinks for your website is there. If, if you just have an empty social media channel, oh, I have a Facebook page, <sighs> come on, fill it out completely. Number four, the biggest thing is most small businesses, they are a local company. You want to make sure that you have a Google Plus. Been with an SEO company now for the last year. Where's your Google Plus page? Come on. So you want to get on this. This, small businesses, this is a good one. This, this is where it's going to generate most of your income. It's the 80-20 rule. Content. Content is king. That's so an overplayed statement, but content. You want to make sure it's unique and at least 400 characters on your blog, if not more. Just don't spit out garbage. If you can't figure out something, just don't put it out there because realistically people are going to lose you and whatever the case may be and here comes a client. Um, one big bonus thing here is um, free advice. Who are you getting your advice from? Who are you getting your strategies from? And SEO. I love these people that cold call companies all day long. Would you like to know about our SEO campaign? Okay, first of all, buddy, what websites do you want? Well, 
these people giving you strategies, look at their own strategies, look at their personally. Personally, I own a fleet of websites and I generate an income with just my own personal websites. Why do I do uh, SEO analysis? Why do I do consulting? Because I like puzzles. It, it's fun for me. But the whole reason of this video is so many small businesses have been bamboozled, have been robbed with other SEO campaigns that aren't effective. These are the top five things that I see on a daily basis that need to be improved. Thanks very much. I'd uh, love for you to reach out to me on LinkedIn, uh, the blog, wherever the case may be. Uh, send me an email. I would love comments. Take care.